Jake, did you have fun checking cows? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, yeah, me and Jake just got done checking cows in the middle of a rainstorm. We'll have to time it a little bit better next time, huh, Jake? Yeah, and it's still raining. It's still raining, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, and my pants are... Your pants are wet too, huh? So me and Jake, my brother-in-law, say hi, Jake. Ashley. Yeah, there's, there's Jake. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! Yeah, so we're just down here, gonna fix some electric fence today. Uh, the snow was kind of hard on them this year, and they, like the weight of the snow, once that snow starts melting, it kind of wraps around the wire, and it'll bust off your little plastic lips there, and it busted off some of my insulators along the fence here. So we're just gonna fix this electric fence, so this one goes around and wraps around over there, and then ties into a our bar, uh, yeah, barbed wire fence on that side. So we got to fix this one. And I got another electric fence on the other side of the, the pasture here. So once we get done with this one, we'll head over there and fix that one too. It's a nice day. It's beautiful actually. Probably about 65 degrees right now. And as you can see, the grass is starting to pop up a little bit. So once we get this electric fence done, that'll probably be our next step is I want to come over and go over this pasture with that harrow and the levelers and kind of level out all this cow manure and kind of get some of this dried grass scratched off the top. So let's get going on our electric fence. So this is what I'm talking about here. So the weight of the snow, you know, so this goes in there like that usually. And when that snow starts to melt, like I said, it'll wrap around and the weight of it as it settles will just bust your, your uh, little lips off, your holders there. You know, so the snow and the, the cows, of course, if they stick their head through there or calves, Calves are hard on things because they just like to crawl through whatever they can. So that's what we're replacing today with these insulators and just kind of getting this tied back up. So, yeah, we'll keep on moving along. So we got this one all done. It wasn't too bad. Just took us about 15, 20 minutes to walk along it and replace our insulators and tighten up our wire again. I should eventually come through and maybe replace my flags. I used to have flags on all this all this wire just to help the cow see a little bit better. So I guess eventually I'll probably probably do that. But this is looking good. Jake was <laughs> Jake was pretty good help. Jake, did you have fun fixing the fence? What? Did you have fun fixing the fence? Yep. Yeah, Jake had fun fixing the fence. So we'll go ahead and head on over to the south side of the pasture and do that one next. Just need to turn our solar panel back on, which gives the fence its electricity and its shock. So that's, this light should be flashing if it's working. Where's it at? Over here. Yeah, so it looks like it's working. Jake, do you want to touch the fence to see if it's working? Nope. No? No. I'm not going there. Not going to go there? Okay. We'll just trust that it's working. On to the next one. Yep. So this fence on this side is a mess. Yeah, it is. It's a mess, huh, Jake? A big mess. A big mess. So we took the the power box, the solar panel, off of this last year. So we needed to put it on the electric fence around my dad's cows. So we just kind of used it as a scarecrow fence. And the cows kind of realized that eventually and kind of tore this up a little bit. So we're going to put this one back up and then go grab another solar panel and put down on that post 
and then uh, we'll get this one all charged up and ready for summer. And once we get it done with this electric fence, we'll get going on our barbed wire fences. Get going on those. We got quite a bit of barbed wire fence to go over. I bet we got, I don't know, maybe six, seven miles of it, I'd guess. So uh, maybe not that much, but yeah, there's plenty of it. So let's just keep on going. So when I'm fixing these fingers that have broken off these little plastic dancers, I just use little zippies. Seems to work pretty good. You just zippy them into place and that seems to hold them decent. So that's how I fix these ones. So this fence is all done. We just need to, need to run back and grab our, our solar panel and energize it. So yeah, we'll head back down head back down to the barnyard and grab that solar panel. So Jake, what'd you say about these cows? You said they're not getting nothing for Christmas. Nope. Nothing for Christmas. Yeah, Jake said these cows have been bad this year, so we're, they're not gonna get nothing for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, because they tore up our fence, so they're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna send them up to the range and be rid of them for the summer. So this fence is done. Like I said, we'll run back and grab that solar panel. Uh, I haven't been really recording much the last week or so because I told you guys that we were pregnant, or my wife was pregnant, and we ended up having our baby last Wednesday. So he's, we had a little baby boy, he's eight pounds and six ounces, about 20 inches. We had him on Wednesday, and that was about seven days ago. So we've been spending a lot of time in the house and taking care of him, and my in-laws have been up, so that's why Jake's out here helping me. So Jake's my brother-in-law, then <clears throat> Cheryl, my mother-in-law, has spent the week with us and that's been a great great thing she's helped us out a lot and taking care of the baby so we've been busy with that and still trying to get a few things done around here and stay on top of things so that's kind of where we've been been at the last week or so so yeah let's head back and grab that solar panel so we took a little break and went and had some lunch real fast and i brought back this charger solar panel got hooked up so there's just a ground and a positive pretty much and the positive goes on the electric side or electric fence side and runs through and your ground just goes down in the ground we got a couple uh um copper copper rods pounded into the dirt and that acts as your ground and uh looks like this is flashing on the back here a little red light is flashing so our charger's working and i'm going to step in here and go to that first metal t-post and i got my custom tester we'll test it and see if it's working so i actually know it's working because i shocked myself when i was trying to hook it up so i know there's some juice to it let's see about how much all i do is i got a, like an insulated wire here we just connect the oh yeah you can hear it i don't know if you guys can see that or not Let's get a better light look. Okay, it's kind of hard to do with two hands, or just one hand. Ah, dang it. Hold on. Let's try this again. Oh, you can hear it for sure. If you guys are seeing it or not. Huh. I don't know. It's not really picking up on the camera, but you can hear it for sure. And you see the blue blue arc shoot across the screen. Or not so much on the camera, but with your eye you can. So she's working. That should deter the cows and stinking cows from going through there, hopefully. Yeah, so this one's done, and we'll move on to our our barbed wire fence here. It goes down all the way to the north side, then it catches over on this side, goes that way also. So we'll get working on that, and hopefully we'll get this pasture done tonight, and we can start on uh, the harrow and the level maybe tomorrow morning once it dries out a little bit. Because we've gotten quite a bit of rain the last couple of days, and this is the first... Well, yesterday was pretty nice, but these are the first couple of nice days we've had in three or four days, so 
things are pretty wet. So let's get going on our barbed wire fence. What do you think, Jake? Brain got stung. Yeah, I got stung. So well, I want to <laughs> Yeah, so we, yeah, I got shocked, so Jake laughed at me. <laughs> yep. Yep. So when I'm working on the barbed wire fences, all I do is I just go along first and make sure all my staples are in, you know, each wire. So this is just a, this is just a four barbed wire fence. So I usually do it in two passes. So I'll go along and walk the whole fence line. I'll just take my, um, my bucket and staples and I'll staple everything up. And if I go along and I find a, like a broken wire, I'll lay it up on top of the fence just so I can see it and I'll come back through with my stretchers and uh, the extra wire if I need it and I'll stretch things tight wherever it's broken. That way I'm not having to pack you know the stretchers and the wire and the bucket and everything all at once. So I just do it in two passes and that's the way I like to do it. And So like I said we're just getting started on the barbed wire fence and we'll get going on this and get finished. Alright Jake, we gotta crawl under that electric fence don't we? Don't let it zap you. Don't touch it. There you go. Watch your bum. <laughs> Good job, Jake. Yeah. Did, didn't get shocked, did you? Nope. <laughs> oh, there goes Isa. Good job. All these willows make this part of the fence pretty hard. It's got overgrown with willows over the years. Uh, we'll make our way through here. We're about done with this barbed wire fence. We're about back to our gate. I've only found one, one broken wire so far over on the east side. So we'll run back over there on the four wheeler and the stretchers and stretch that back up and we'll be pretty much done with this one. So when I was a kid, and I was, you know, first started fixing fence, I was taught never to pound your your staples, your nails, all the way till you pinch your wire. I was always taught to leave, you know, a good amount of space there, so when you're stretching your wire, you know, it can pull through. If you pound that, that staple down too far, all your um, barbs on your barbed wire ca ca will catch there, and you won't be able to tighten it or nothing. And you know, eventually you'll pinch that wire and that's where it'll break at. So if you look on these staples, let's see if we'll focus or not. Come on now. So if you look there, there's two barbs, or, you know, there's four barbs, but there's two deep. So these two, so I always pound it in just to this one, to the second barb. And that leaves me, leaves, leaves me a pretty good amount there. So I'll pound that staple in about, I'll turn it this way. So I'll pound it in about yay far. And that leaves you, you know, plenty of room for your, you know, for your wire to run through there when you tighten it. 
So I don't know if people do it different than that, but that's how I was taught and it seems to work fine for us. Just a little tidbit there for you. So we're gonna call it a night. Uh, we went around that whole pasture piece and uh, all I got left to do is just a couple uh, spots there's a few broken wires. So I just need to go back and take the stretches with me and uh, tighten those back up and connect those wires together. And we got a, uh, my cousin's having a fire up at his property tonight, so we're gonna go up there and hang out with them. And uh, we got Jake up there. Jake's taking the four wheeler back for me. I'm just running back on this um, old orange uh, Alice Chalmers tractor. I'm going to fuel it up and top it off with oil and antifreeze and get it ready so I can start harrowing that piece tomorrow in the morning. So we're going to call it a night. Head on home. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.